hello everyone welcome to sql problem solving series so this is a kind of a hard level problem so let us see what is the problem says so you can see two pairs x1 y1 and x2 y2 are said to be symmetric pairs if x1 is equal to y2 and x2 is equal to y1 we need to write a query to output all such symmetric pairs whichever is present into this particular table you can see only we have two columns x column and y column and we need to figure out all such symmetric pairs which uh, satisfy this particular criteria which you can see here they have mentioned so we need to write the query to find all such symmetric pairs in ascending order by the value of x and list the rows such that x1 should be less than or equal to y1 so friends we need to figure out a way to process this particular output by now you must have got an idea like we need to do a self join so we need to join this table with itself on to the basis of this particular condition which they have mentioned so let us start writing the query so i'll do a select a dot x comma a dot y comma b dot x comma b dot y from functions a join functions b on so what is the condition on which we need to join both of these tables so x1 should be equal to y2 so the very first table x value this should be equal to the second table y value and also in table x value that should also be equal to the first table y value so friends this is the condition which they have mentioned here let us run the query and let us see what is the output which we are getting so you can see we have got all such symmetric pairs so if you look closely all these output which we have got here they are satisfying this particular condition but we are getting an wrong answer now we'll be looking at why we are getting this wrong answer here so but you can see this condition is satisfied like x1 is equal to y2 so 86 is equal to 86 the extremes you can see they are matching and also x2 is equal to y1 and 86 is equal to 86 so we are getting all such pairs let us find some different numbers so you can see here x1 is equal to y1 8 is equal to 8 and here 18 is equal to 18 so we are getting all such pairs which are satisfying this particular criteria but even if we are getting the wrong answer now this can be due to various reasons one can be we need to only find some unique pairs unique symmetric pairs which are satisfying this particular criteria so you can see we are getting some duplicate values here you can see these two rows they are repeating two times like this there can be many rows into this particular output so we need to figure out a way to remove all such uh, kind of duplicate values which we are getting so that we can get rid of them and we can get the correct answer so friends let us figure out a way on how we can remove all these duplicate values because we just want a single row for all such conditions we don't want to get duplicate values as such which we are mentioned here so friends what is the logic which we can write here so if you look closely there are two different kind of outputs which i am getting in one of the output all these four numbers they are same and in other output you can see we are getting some kind of this pattern into our output now we'll need to treat all these differently to process our correct output whichever we need to get how should we proceed with that particular thing so we need to take into account all these different criteria which are mentioned here and we need to fulfill all these criteria so friends you can see in the output we are getting only pair so one thing we can do is we can just remove b dot x and b dot y even then we'll be getting the same answer only just that these two columns would be removed now after this to remove all such duplicate values such as these from our output can we say like we can just uh, just run this code here so can we say once we group on to the basis of a dot x and a dot y and we'll just filter out all those Uh, conditions or all those outputs where the count of the aggregate is greater than one. 
so in that case we'll be just be getting a single row for all these conditions and do this to remove all such duplicate values because when we'll be grouping by onto the basis of a dot x and a dot y so onto both of these columns and we'll be applying the having condition having count greater than one so we'll be getting only a single row for all such different outputs all such duplicate values which we are getting into our output now this is the very first condition the second condition is where both of these numbers they are kind of different such as like this one so we need to process this quite differently because they are only present once so when we are giving the condition having count greater than one so all these conditions will be losing them because they are only present one number of times this condition will be only getting all such values where both of these numbers are same to also get these values where both of these numbers are different and also they are not present more than one time into our output we need to process a different logic and we'll see how to do that so first of all let us remove all the duplicates which we are getting so i'll tell group by a dot x comma a dot y and i'll do a having count of a dot x should be greater than one so we'll be applying this particular condition and when i'll be hitting the run code button we'll be getting just a single row for all such duplicate values which are present into my output into that condition when we'll be grouping by onto the basis of a dot x and a dot y so we will be removing these values also but we need to figure out a way to retain all such values so what is the logic which we can write here so can we say we can apply a or condition here and we'll be saying whenever the x value is less than the y value we present me all such rows so we'll be writing one more condition here that is a dot x should be less than a dot y let us run the code let us see what is the output which we are getting as you can see we are also getting the values where both of these x value and the y values they are same and also we are getting the values where both of these values are different so our condition is satisfied now but even then we are getting the wrong answer and this is all because we need to uh, query the output also symmetric pairs in ascending order by the value of x so at the very last we need to order our output onto the basis of a dot x let us run the code again friends yeah this time we are getting the right answer this particular video was quite useful to you and this was a kind of hard level problem with multiple scenarios we need to cover here because first of all we just need to get single value for each of these rows so for that we are removing all such rows by using the group by condition and having count greater than one and by this condition all these values like where there is just a single value which we need to get we need to retain them also okay so because of this group by all those values will be removed to retain all such values where x and y coordinates are not the same we are using this or condition so either this particular condition will be satisfied or this particular condition will be satisfied all those output which will be getting here so using this or condition a dot x is less than a dot y we are getting all such values where uh, both of these numbers are not equal so i hope this particular video was quite informational to you and quite useful don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye